He'd written happy birthday, poked his penis through the paper as well. He's very, very needy. He wants attention. I've not been bitten or scratched or anything. It's not even noticeable. You genuinely think that the person actually wants to see a picture of your dick? It's likely to be spreading poison. I run a, a fairly well-known Twitter account and the people that follow me, you know, they're always really engaged with what I do. And my birthday, a guy kindly messaged me. He'd written happy birthday on a piece of paper, poked his penis through the paper as well, taken a photo of it and direct messaged me on Twitter. It was the first thing that I opened and that's how I started off my birthday. My immediate reaction, unfortunately, was just one of, ugh, I've become really, really used to this kind of message, so it's no longer something that shocks me or that horrifies me the way it used to. It's more just tiresome and disappointing. There are different reasons why people send dick pics. First of all, sexual gratification, the idea of shocking somebody with your photograph. Sexual humiliation, where you feel that somebody's gonna be really angry with you, so you get a response that way. And also, on occasion, a misstep, because you genuinely think that the person actually wants to see a picture of your dick. Most of the time, the rule being, don't send a dick pic unless you're asked for one. It's a sexual violation. It's an act that they've not invited, and you have no idea of the history of the person that you're sending it to. I really just didn't want to be a part of this particular person enjoying himself any more than he already had. What I decided to do was to outsmart him in the best way that I could think of. Just confuse the poor bloke. I've printed out the conversation. This guy sends me this image. So I replied with, mate, that's great and I appreciate the effort, but I'm distracted by what appears to be a dangerous red mark on your stomach. I zoomed into the picture that he'd sent me and I drew an arrow and circled this sort of tiny spot, a normal spot that, you know, could have been on anybody. And he said, what? It looks tiny. And I said, I have a degree in dermatology. I don't. I've seen these before in that position and it's often a sign of something more serious. What do you mean in that position? It's just a spot. It doesn't itch and I've never noticed it before. How can a spot be serious? I said it doesn't itch. Oh God. Okay, stay calm for now. But why is that bad? It doesn't itch. I don't understand. Itching is a bad thing. It's just a spot. No, itching is a sign of something healing. When a spot in that position doesn't itch, it's likely to be spreading poison, what we call silently. But what's specific about that position? Poison? I've not been bitten or scratched or anything. It's not even noticeable. There's a level of vulnerability about his messaging, so he is concerned for his own health and well-being, and he's placed her not only in a position of power, but in a position of expert knowledge. Mate, you're making me really worried here. The fact that you haven't noticed being bitten or scratched is even more concerning. This could well mean it's coming from further within your body. I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna take a picture of that area. Maybe it's just that picture. So then he sent me a picture of a close-up of just this sort of big hairy tummy. And he said, I can't see anything. I said, oh no, it's gonna be a really difficult few months for you. What does that mean? I'm okay, there's nothing there. That's the nature of the condition. You won't know till it's too late. What condition? I'm looking at my stomach right now and there's nothing. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I feel fine. You haven't explained anything clearly. You're very Clearly the personality and mindset of this individual is that he's very, very needy, he wants attention, he wants to be looked after as well, and even though he couldn't get any help on a sexual level from this woman, he now wants her on a nurturing level. So there's some egocentricity there as well. And then I didn't reply for quite some time, and he put, weirdly, I've shown my cousin the picture, as you really stressed me out earlier. She agrees with me, she. If there's anyone you work with that would give a second opinion, that would really help. In a later conversation, it turns out that he'd been to a doctor about it. He sent me a picture of where he'd, he'd shaved his own stomach um, to have a look at this spot. I decided to post screenshots of this conversation up online. People thought it was very funny and a lot of people said, you know, this is a great way to deal with this kind of cyber flashing. But there was this really confusing but very small proportion of people who said that it was very, very unfair of me and that it was mean, that essentially it was my fault because I hadn't told him that I didn't want to receive an explicit image. I feel like something has gone really wrong with society where the onus is on the woman to explain to a man that she doesn't want 
to be flashed at online. Having said that, if you're in any way uncomfortable with these things, you must block and you must report. The only reason I do this is because I've become rather sadly desensitised. I think that Brecker's approach was comedic. I understand why people would say, well, it's a little bit cruel. You had this guy convinced he was potentially dying. My argument, chain of causation, you started the situation by sending a dick pic she didn't want. End of the day, it's fair game after that.